Hi and welcome to Employee Database Management System developed in Java with Eclipse. Okay guys, let me show you how this works. So I'm going to reset and in here let's enter a new employee. Okay, and what's the NI number of this our new employee and the name? Let's say the name is Johnny. Let's say John Johnson. Yeah. There we go. Mail. Date of birth, let's say, is 12-04-2000. Yeah. Age is 20. And wages. There we go. So just click on add and look at what's going to happen here. There. Yes, yeah, system update complete. There. Okay. Okay, let's go into Eclipse development environment and we'll put one of these together. Hi and welcome to my Eclipse Java data management system. I'm going to start by clicking on file. Select new. And come right here, select Java project. There. I would then give my project a name. I just call that employ, employee data. There. It's going to be the name so let's copy that so we could then click on finish right there inside the package explorer that's my employee day today this very one so right click on it okay and we're gonna have to select class but let me show you what we have in there there's nothing in here now for now okay so right click new let's create the class and my class i'm just going to give it a name i'll call it employee data that's it period i'm going to leave all the settings the way they are okay and let's click on finish there we go now my class is ready the first thing i like to do right is to import the following so i'm going to import the java sql dot sql dot star and enter then i also want to import the following i'm going to just copy that i'm going to import javax swing so let's change this one to swing there we go and as you can see i have dot star there as well now straight into my public class employee data right in there the first thing i like to do is let me let me just create a public class here and this very public class i'm going to make it static and i'll just call it uh, connection it's going to be connect db so let's just say yeah connect db connect db All right and let's just enter parentheses there press enter and now let's add curly bracket in there now to start with i'm going to use try cache just in case if i run into any problem that will help me out so let's go for class dot we want class dot for name okay and the name that i'm going to be dealing with is going to be org dot sql light dot jbbc and close that very okay enter semicolon in there now the next thing i like to do let me call my connect and declare a variable there okay so come right in there and just say connect equals let's say con and that con is the name of the variable let's say driver manager 
and that is going to be for the name of my database dot get I want you to get the following fields that I will have wherever I have my files so I'm going to first of all just enter speech map there and let's say Java or JDBC JDBC enter a column there is going to be an SQL column I'm going to kind of like stop it right there for now and I will come right down here and just let me enter a message and that is just to show if my data is connected or not so let's say dot show dot show message there we go and what message would I like to show so let me just say no and the message I'll just say connection made yeah that's fine there we go that will be the message that will be displayed when my data actually connect well, let's enter it. semicolon there okay now the next thing I'd like to do is I might as well just return it return Con. But right now as you guys can see I don't have any database because I haven't created that yet we will create that together so let's come right down here and right underneath here since I've used try cache I might as since I've used try I might as well cache whatever error in there so cache whatever error exception E and enter semicolon here as well or coil braces I mean I'm just gonna copy all of these and paste it right in here there we go okay as you notice the error here is all gone so let me go back to it again undo that and you see the error is back now paste what I copied in here Paste it in there. Now just change this one to now. There we go. And in here, I can just call that connection error. There we go. There, done. So I've created my the class that I will use to connect to my database. But before I continue, let me go to the browser. All right, there we go. That's the DB browser okay i'm going to show you guys where to get this browser because you're going to need it and right here is the url for the browser you're going to need that and you will also need the sql driver okay these two okay i might as well these very links i'm going to enter them in my description area because you're going to need it okay so once you install the browser this is how the browser will look like and that's the db browser for sqlite okay now let me create a table i'm going to click on new database and this very new database where do i want to save it so i'm going to go in straight into my area and right in here is my eclipse and let's look for employee data there we go um, what would be the name so I just call that employee there that's the name of my database okay employee and I'll just click on save and the table name is going to be known as employee as well so the first thing I want to do is come right here you see where we have add field click on that the very first field is going to be employee id and this very employee id i'm going to make it a text okay and it's going to be my primary key as well look at it it's all there for you that's how good this system is okay add another one the other one is going to be ni national insurance number the national insurance number i'm going to make the data type text as well then followed by first name first name obviously is going to be text 
now so name next one is gender the next one that's going to be date of birth then we have let's enter age and come right down here let's check out how much this guy ends right there so those are my fields in total i should have about eight yeah that should be eight okay now let's change the data type of these i'm going to change them all to text come right down let's the text as well text and text and finally that's text okay look at the sql there generated for you okay so let's click on okay that's it my database is created there now i don't need this anymore so i'm going to close that just make sure it's saved there okay minimize this now I need to go to the location where the database is created so that I'll copy the link and we can add that right in here. Okay, let's locate directory where I save my database. That's my database right there. I'm now going to make sure it's selected. Hold on to your shift key, right click, and let's select copy part. There we go, the part is now copied. Minimize that and right here take a good look at it let's collapse this right here i'm now going to enter the part that i've just copied it's right there now i will delete this backslash and also delete this very speech mark there and there's an xx speech mark here that needs to go there get rid of this backslash as well there we go and that is my database directory okay let me press enter so that you can see it properly that's directory for my database okay you can do the same thing so the class is officially taken care of now let's come back to our package explorer here now that we have our employee data that would be for the connections to be made to the database so the next thing i want to do now is to go straight in here right click and in here i now want to go to new and let's select order in there what we need is our window builder okay sometimes you might not see a window builder in this directory if you don't have your window builder let's assume you don't have your window builder go to help and you select eclipse marketplace and this dialog box pops up you see what where we have search just type in window builder right there And just click on the search and guess what the system will officially search for it and you can then install it there we go okay the one i'm using is 1.9.3 and i also have a tutorial on youtube on how to reinstall your window builder all you need to do is to just click on install and that's it i've already installed it so i cannot click on this for it to work so close that that's how you get your window builder back now let's come back in here so I'm now going to right click on the file name go to new select order and right there what we need is application window but we'll make sure the application window is from the window builder so this is how it's going to look like if you drop down the window builder you go to swing drop down the string designer and you should be able to find your application window right in there so if we collapse it all this is what you will see window builder swing designer inside swing designer 
application window click on next and there I'm gonna give my project name so I'll just call that employee there and then click on finish there we go that's my employee there now I can start to work with my design so to start work with my the design of the interface let me show you how the how the framework looks like for now there we go that's the framework okay so let's just right click on it and come straight to set layer and I'll change that to absolute layer there so let's go back to the source right in here what I want to do is to increase the, the frame size so first and first let's get rid of this 100 by 100 I'm going to change that to 0 by 0 which means I want the whole system to start from the upper left hand corner and fill up the screen and this 450 that's the width I will change it to 1400 this is the height 300 I'll change it to 800 there okay so that you guys can see this properly so I'm gonna go to my windows here and just go to edit and let's zoom out a bit more okay there so that is the changes that I've made so far now let's go straight to my design and that's the screen you see the font uh, the frame now before I go any further I'm gonna cl uh, collapse this and let's collapse this for now we'll be back to that very structure okay now inside the container here I need labels drop a label there I need J text field add J text field there I also need buttons J button is that on the media now what I'm going to do is uh, let's select J table I'm going to need that as well click and just draw that is my J table right there okay now that my J table is in place right click on it and let's select or uh, let's surround it with uh, the strollable bar that is it right here you see okay the swing j stroll plane is very one click on it there we go there or if you want you can always add it before adding the table that's it right there okay now i have that embed to my table so if we come in here let's go straight to the to the structure you see right inside the structure stroll plane is there if I drop this down and that is my table right there click on the table okay you can see the table is right there now let's modify this table before we go any further I will change the okay let's change that to about 14 and make it bold and let's come right where we have mold and change click on the three dots there I will now add as follows uh, let's add insert one two three four five six seven eight eight of those okay I'm going to also that's eight columns I'm going to add one row there just to enable me so that I can use that to change the data around now select this very first row and change the name to employer ID there select the second row and modify that as well second row is going to be known as um, ni number come to the third one first name and this will be sold in. come right here let's change that to gender Uh, maybe we'll call this yeah age no it will be here to bet this will be the age and right here I'm gonna call that 
salary. There we go. That's it. I've carried out all the modification required for my... Oh, this is in the wrong place. Let's come right here. All right. You see this very first column? I really don't need it. So I'm going to go back in there and just get rid of that column for now. Change that to zero. That column is gone. Click on OK. There we go. That's my title. So the title for the table is all sorted and the table itself is more or less sorted. So let's come back in here. You see all of these? I'm going to select these three items there. Okay, select one, two, and three. Then let's change the font size to something a little bit readable. I'm gonna make it about 18 bold. There, all done. Now, the text. That one is called text field. So um, I need eight of those, and I also need about eight of these as well. Eight of these is required as well, anyway. All right, now. Copy both. Okay, we can just hold on to the control or right click and just copy there. And right click, paste. That is two. Alright. In total, I need eight. Copy and paste. Yeah, that makes life easy for me. Alright. Select, select, right click, copy, come right down here, paste. Okay, that is fine. Now for the button, I have a button in here. Move that very button here. Okay, now open up the button a little bit. Okay, come right down here. I'm gonna make that about four. Now copy paste we have two paste again we have three and come right down here one more paste we have four and I'm going to change the data I have inside this very button so come in here this one is going to be exit and Hopefully the name should be changed automatically. Very good. Come to the next one here. Now changes to reset. Press enter. The name is changed as well. And the next one is print. Press enter. And finally, this one is going to be known as add add new. There we go. Add new. I'm going to have to change that manually. There. All of that is set. Now, let's give this label a name. This very first one is going to be known as... I'm just going to type that all out. Employ, employee ID. The text box on it is going to be known as employee ID. So let's call that J T X T employee ID. That's it. Now the next one, change this one to N I number. Text box. Change the text box to J T X T. NI number followed by surname or oh, first name, not surname, and the text box will be known as JTXT first name. This will be swarming. Repeat the same thing for this. And that will be JTXT there. We have gender here. So let's change this to JTXT gender. And 
and this is gender this is gonna be DOB and the text box will be DOB um, JTXT DOB date of birth now just two more to go and that'll be all that's going to be age text box JTXT age this is known as salary and text box is going to be known as JTXT salary JTXT salary that's it all done so the whole interface is taken care of now though I do need to rearrange it okay let's connect to the SQL driver force I'm going to collapse that let's collapse this as well and come right here package explorer right inside this package explorer that is my program right there the folder right click on that very folder and we now want to select build part inside this build part I'm going to select add external archives now here is my SQL JDBC driver I will, that I will include the link of where you guys can get this very JDBC driver click on that and let's select open and what will happen is the folder is officially created for me right in there okay so that is taken care of now okay now let's try it out and see how that looks like I'm just gonna click on run there there we go connection made that's good all right so what we we'll do now is let's go straight into this very button and I'm going to just take care of this exit so double click on that there we go come right down here and for the exit I'm going to call the frame which is the that is my object J frame and inside it's very J frame I'm going to give it an alias of exit close that All right press enter then now let's get rid of this now the next thing I'm gonna do is use an if statement if let's come right here if that will be J option option plane dot and I'd like you to show message let's see uh, get rid of this let's correct that first so that we can get our yeah dot show message or oh, this wrong spelling here that should be there should be a p here right so let's try that one more time and this should be in the bracket okay dot plane and that is going to be show okay confirm dialog and this dialog is going to be frame and that is my first argument the second argument is going to be confirm if you want to exit that's the second argument close that comma and I'm just gonna give it a name I'll call it employee uh, that will be database system a comma here for the next argument which is going to be option plane copy that press enter here press that here dot yes or no option and equals equals J 
option plain dot yes or no option B. Close that. Open it up a coil braces and finalize it by saying system dot exit. There. That is my exit line of code taken care of. Good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's take care of the okay let's just take care of this so uh, I'm gonna copy that resets now come in here double click on resets take care of that right away and just paste that in there dot set and then it's set text right I'm going to just enter not value in there yeah that's one taken care of copy this now the next one is j txt and i number there followed by j txt now the first name and paste JTXT so name let's copy and just paste it all this is so name here is gender and here we have date of death right here that's going to be age and finally that will be salary there the clear function is taken care of okay so let's go back to the design so let's run it and see how that exit and clear will work all right connect and enter whatever in there and reset that is fine exit no nope. exit yes that is fine okay the next thing is i'm going to take care of the print function then finally we'll take care of the database connection double click on the print come right down here and i'm going to call this object call message format and i'm going to call that as header Header equals new message format. So we just copy and just paste. There we go. And in there, I'm just going to enter the following printing, printing in progress. So that's my very first message printing in progress. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the footer. So let's just copy that and I'll come right down here paste that in there and I'll just change this to footer there and in here I'm going to enter as follows let's say page the coil braces in there and inside the coil braces I'm going to I'm going to enter as zero number comma that will be an integer there and let's just close that here there we go and this arrow let's take care of this arrow by just clicking on that and we need to import the print library there there we go you see the error is gone so right underneath here i'm going to use try Hash. If there's any error, that's going to be my table number one, which are table dot print. Enter parenthesis, close that. Else, if there's any error, let's take care of the error right here. Or this one will be oh, that's wrong. That should be table dot print. Okay, try cache 
whatever error that we might run into so let's say java dot abstract windows 2 dot print okay dot print exception dot value enter a curly braces close that and if there's any error let's just say system do as follows system dot error handler dot format and in there i'm going to enter a string let's just say that is going to be no print or no printer no printer found comma value dot get message there we go and there so that takes care of the print there we go okay so we go back to our design and we can just try that out and see how that's going to look like there's nothing there to print of course but just to be sure click on print yeah there we go the dialog box pops up all right cancel that and close that yeah okay now let's work on connecting the database so i'm going to go in uh, straight inside the source so right underneath here let's start by saying connection that is con equals nothing there we go that is for my connection i have an error here and that is because i need to input the following okay so let's copy that i'm going to come back in here and just paste it right underneath there okay the connection issue gone now you can see it is right there okay let's minimize that there we go so minimize that come back in here so the next thing is let's use our prepared statement prepared statement and that is i'm going to give that pst as a variable that will be no value as well okay now let's go for the result result set set all right there's nothing in there neither there now let's say default uh, default table mode i'm going to call that mode equals new default table mode There we go, let's enter parentheses there. And that is it. Okay, now the next thing is let me go straight to the constructor here. You see, the constructor actually have the same name with my with my public class. So let's come right down here. Press enter. So right inside my constructor, I'm going to enter as follows. Let's say the con equals employee database. Remember the name of my class dot connect DB, just right here. Okay. So I'm going to enter all of there and let's say object. column enter an array there equals uh, open coil braces and the very first one is the very first field that is my employee id that's my very first field comma the second field is ni 
this gun here and I number, comma, and follow by first name. Yeah. Comma, follow by surname. And we have gender. You must make sure the details you have on your database is all correct with whatever you have in here so the next one will be date of birth yeah comma then we have age comma and finally salary there we go all right all that is taken care of so we now need to add this straight onto this model let's say model of that that will be set set column ID column ID there we go there we go yeah column ID is column there that is that taken care of okay um let's do something quick I'm going to create a public function this public function I will use it to update my table so let me copy this so I'm going to need that inside my public function and let's come maybe right underneath here so I'll just call that public void let's say update update my table right enter a curly braces there and in here that, that I've just copied paste that in there and I will then use an if statement if can not equals to nothing that's good so what I want the system to do is string so the variable SQL equals all of the following that I have in here. So I'm gonna copy those. Where are they? Right here. Let's copy everything here. Copy, come right here and just paste. Get rid of the curly braces. There we go. Right. But I also need to get rid of these things. I just need commas there and it has to be select let's use selection statement select okay so the first one is that get rid of all of these and just leave okay there we go but we have a problem here all right let's take care of that I think it's meant to be coily braces there there we go yeah now the next thing we need to do is i'm going to make use of try cache let's say try calibrators and that will be try cache um prepared statement equals can dot prepare the prepared statement and what do we have in there we have the sql that we just declared and just enter semicolon there now result set that one is going to be equals prepare statement dot um execute execute whatever query we have enter that in there now the next one is going to be the object let's say object that is inside the array that will be called data data equals new object and that new object how many do I have in there in total is eight so I'm gonna enter eight right in there all right we need to enter a column in here there now we have this error just because of this get rid of that it's not meant to be there okay that error is gone why while statement in there while st um result statement 
my results dot next open a bracket and close that okay the very very the very first column the very first column we have inside the data column data and, uh, and paste that in here the very first one would be that would be zero and that very one equals result set dot get string a string yeah a string in there and what do we have inside the string is going to be employee id i call that close that that's the very first one there and the second one i'm going to copy this paste in total is eight so i'll just change it around three more right and there we go right there it's all corrected and i've also added it to my table mode here that's it added into the table but right here is just to there's a try cache if there's any error so this message will be displayed and that's it done now let's go straight into my button art so i would like the button art to execute as follows so when i enter data in here i just want the button art to add those data so double click on the add button so i'm right in here press enter okay right in here i'm going to ask the system to insert as follows so it says string sql equals insert into that will be employee yeah i think it's employee is called insert into employee the following so open a bracket and i'm going to close it so what i want to insert right in there is m id okay all of those fields that i have in here so i might as well just copy it copy come right down here and ib id and so on enter a comma there and just paste then i can delete all of this speed that up okay we now need to check what value we need to enter in there so i'm going to say values is going to be as follows so let's just since we don't know the value we just put question mark we need eight of those That's question marks, eight question marks for the columns. There we go. All right, and let's come right down here and use try. There, that should be lowercase. Try and write in here what I will try now. That's going to be the best prepare statement equals can dot prepared statements and that statement is the that's my sql that's fine and comma now the first prepared statement is going to be dot set and that is set string the very first string i'm going to call that one comma and that is going to be inside my JTXT. I think I call that employer. Employee. Employer. No, I think it's employee ID. Yeah, I think that's the very first one. And that will be dot get ID. All right get text sorry not id okay that is taken care of i'm going to copy that so i'll just copy everything and change it around then let's change that around as five six five six seven eight and just change the data in i mean the the object name 
Let's change that to RAM. Yeah, so let's speed that up. So we'll come right underneath here and just get it executed. Let's say prepared dot execute. There. And we need to now close the result set dot close. Then we also need to close the prepared statements dot close. There we go. Now let's use cache in here. Cache whatever error that we may have. That's exception. So come right down here, enter a coil of braces, and in here, just gonna add a message. Whatever message, let's see if there's any one error to copy. Yeah, let's copy this. Scroll right down. Paste that message right here. Okay, does show message and this message is gonna be okay. Let's enter something in here. System. System update completed. There. That is it. And right here, to finish up the whole process, we're going to now add everything straight inside the table. So that's a default table mode. Okay, equals mode. And that is going to be object default mode. So copy that and just paste that in there. And that is going to be table dot get mode. There we go. Enter column in there. So the next thing now is I'm going to call this very mode. Is that here? But add the various rows. Add rule and that is going to be new object new objects okay now here we add coil braces there right. coil and braces in here and take it down what do we now have that is going to be my very first this very one I'm going to copy that okay I'm going to copy everything just delete what I don't want come right down here paste it right here there and get rid of this speed up things so that's what I want to add straight into the air uh, into the table and here will be comma comma another one another one there there we go guys that's it all done now just one more thing to do and that will be all right underneath here right here all we just need to do is to add if table gets selected okay if table gets select uh, selected row okay we want you to do as follows and that's all the rest to it that's it all done okay let's go back to the design view here and right here I'm just gonna come up here now and just add the title that's all and now we we'll call it the end of this tutorial so I'm gonna select label click in there and right inside of our label I'm gonna enter let's say employee database management system there we go 
and let's increase the font size of this i'm going to make it a little bit visible for you guys so let's come right down here and just choose maybe about 30. make that bold there we go right there yeah i think that's about right that's fine there so let's run our program and see how that looks like run okay so decision time now employee details and let's come in here and i know my name of this very guy so it says felix uh more house Date of birth of more house. I'm gonna say 12 and let's say 97 and age wages of more house in pound sterling. There we go. Add that. Yes, yeah, system update complete. There we go. Look at that. And that is how you create your own employee database management system let's say that's for as a poll open and let's say date of that is so it's 21 wages let's end more than him there we go and then i number there and let's add that yeah and that's how you create your own employee database management system using Java Eclipse. So before I go, I'd like to ch shout out to my latest channel member, um, Ivan Chris. Thanks a lot for your support. Majid Murad, thanks a lot for your support. And uh, Suraj Govin, thanks a lot for your support, guys. I hope to hear from you a lot. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.